Hey guys, what's up? This is Scoben Shot, and I have a Battlefield 3 gameplay. This is uh, only vehicles right here, and uh, we're playing a sign, scene crossing, whatever the hell it's called. It's a French map, and uh, this is uh, only vehicle only gameplay, and we just camp in the LEV pretty much this whole game. A very long game. This is like 25 minutes long, and uh, I don't know. I enjoy playing the vehicle in this game, so uh, I'm gonna show. But right here, I kind of got stuck uh, with one of the side gunners so um yeah I can, you, you gotta kind of wait until it gets good and the other fags jump out of this thing already <laughs> but um yeah this is a vehicle gameplay if I didn't say that already and 25 minutes long so I split it up and it's gonna be about like three parts hopefully if I remember to post them all but um I'll, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to use the vehicle on this map and just how to use this vehicle in general and eventually I will come out with uh, some guides on vehicles such as the LEV, maybe the jet, Humvee, tank, little bird, viper, any of those so alright the LEV, uh, LEV is probably one of the uh, one of my favorite vehicles to use in this game as I get shot um, it's probably one of, the, one of my favorite ones just because it's uh it has really good damage for a light armored vehicle and that you can have like you know uh... what is it Five, i want to say six people in it two four yeah six people in it and uh... it's just really fun even though usually there's only like two or three people in it but uh... if you actually had all like if the whole thing was actually full and you were using it uh... with like a full you know you know with like a full vehicle i mean it'd be really fun even though just the only thing that sucks about that is that on this map and the only maps that it's on, which uh, I think the only maps that this is on, it's on this one, uh, it's on uh, Karg Island, and it's on uh, No Shahar Channels, and it might be on like one or two more. But the problem with this thing is that a lot of times if you had, if you were able to have this whole thing full, someone's not going to be getting any shots. And as you see, if you don't know where the guns are on this thing, uh, and as I'm switching a little bit right here, you might be able to tell. Um, there's a uh, two on the on the right side and two on the left side. I think I don't think there's anyone in the back. I'm not sure though. Yeah, no, never mind. I think there I think there is. Uh, I'm not completely sure though. And then there's a uh, there's a driver who has a uh, uh, big cannon, and then there's a uh, top turret gunner who has a 360 degree view of everything. So those are the top two places you want to be in that thing. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and just you know, especially on this map, uh, pretty much if you drove into their spawn, sort of, uh, you're gonna be stuck on you know if you're on like the right side or if you're on the left side, you might not see much action, and that kind of sucks because you know these side turns don't have a whole huge view. Right here, I kinda, I'm kind of getting lucky and I was getting a shot today, but there's no one there, so it doesn't matter. But on on scene crossing, the good thing about this one is that the attacking side is the only side with vehicles. Uh, it's not the same in Conquest though. On Conquest, uh, both sides get tanks, and uh, but that's pretty much it. My favorite maps are pretty much the ones where there's like tons of vehicles. But yeah, for this one, uh, probably one of the best things to do, as with any vehicle, in my opinion, is um, if you're in a party, you know, and you have two guys who are just like love being in vehicles, such as me. Um, usually, you want to have you know gunner and uh, driver. You want to just like go around, try to get the vehicle, or try to camp and then spawn in it, or spawn next to it, and then get into it. And then usually you want to be you want to be engineers so that you can uh, sit here and uh, you can uh, yeah like whenever you're uh, hurt you can repair. So uh, you'll see me do this a lot, and as I unlock the ATGM launcher, which I'll talk in a second. But yeah, you'll see me get out a lot and repair, which is very it's a cheap tactic, but it works. Right here, I'm going to work with this. Uh, this side camera right now, but the, okay, the ATGM launcher. Um, the if you guys know on some of the maps, there's the uh, the randomly pay the uh, randomly paste random randomly placed uh, little like missile launchers. They're called uh, oh, what are they called? I want to say they're called cornets. They're called cornets. Mm -hmm. That's basically what they are because um. What it is is like you know you shoot it and then like wherever you move your uh, cursor is where it'll where it'll fly, and it is I don't know it's those things are very you know they're not that strong and they're kind of annoying to use because a lot of times you'll miss with it so, um, 
but it is uh, close on some maps. Like if you're in close quarters and you're shooting with your main main cannon, and as soon as you get the reload, just switch that, and it actually does deal a good amount of damage when you hit them. But you know, I don't really seem to have that much luck with it. So, but yeah, um, you know, one of the one of the good things about or one of the things you want to do in this kind of vehicle, you usually want to uh, you want to be able to like maneuver around and. You want to uh, you want to give yourself as the driver a good place to view enemies and be able to shoot them because the main cannon is pretty much the thing you'll be uh, taking people out with in this one. Um, that deals the most amount of damage. ATGM launcher is not good against uh, uh, infantry, you know, ground troops, whatever. So, oh, I almost died there. I barely got inside. I'm at zero health, so I'm like, I'm not going to be getting out, but I actually do, and I well, I just run away for a little bit. <laughs> And they're just pelting that thing. They blew it up. So, uh, yeah, now we're going to fast forward this because we went back in the spawn and waited. Um, but, yeah, as the driver, you want, you as yourself, even though it sounds like selfish, but you want to give yourself the best view of the enemy possible because you have the best, you have the best weapon, so you want to use it. And it doesn't really matter because whatever you see, your second gunner, the, the top gunner, on top of you, we'll be able to uh, pretty much see whatever else you're seeing. So you know, it's not really that selfish. They'll they'll be seeing the same things as you, so don't worry. But you know, you really don't have to really care about the uh, the side gunners because it's not really gonna matter. Um, I mean, they're uh, you know they they're at a disadvantage because they uh, as I destroy this guy right here. <laughs> but yeah, they don't have that much to shoot at. But it it would be nice if you if they would stick with you the whole game because they probably could help you a lot when. Uh, there's guys at the side, but other than that, there's not really people on your side. It's a whole bunch. So you, may, maybe a few times when they shoot rockets at you, but, you know, even then, it's probably too late to react, so. Yeah, right here, I'm driving and uh, backing away from this guy because I couldn't I couldn't get down enough and shoot him, so I had to back up and then shoot him. And then this guy, I, these guys are just stupid. They're walking right past you, or right past me, <laughs> so. Yeah, we got, this is usually standard for us in this vehicle. We have two guys in it, just me and my friend. And we just sit here and just go to town, go to work on these guys. They have no idea what hit them. Actually, they sort of do, but they just don't know what to do about it. Um, this is actually, this is really fun to play with on Rush. And you'll see later how you can use this on the final objective. Um, it's really, it's pretty cool because uh, you can like drive right in there and uh, pretty much destroy them. But anyways, that's the end of the first part. I'll be uploading part two very soon. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon on Model for 3 and Battlefield 3. See you guys later.